hey, how is it going? So I wanted to do this quick video for you all. Um, just for those of you who have started your personal Thrive experience, you're taking the three steps and maybe you're just not feeling it yet. Um, I actually have quite a bit of experience helping people with their Thrive experience, um, including my own personal experience when I first started Thrive and as well as my husband. Um, when we first started thriving, it was not like some of the stories that you see online or read about. Um, and I want to share some things that will definitely help you. In fact, nine out of 10 people that I have helped um, with like troubleshooting their personal thought experience, like they're not feeling it yet, they're not feeling the energy or whatever. Um, I want to share with you like nine out of 10 people when they go through the steps that I'm going to share with you in this video, they have found significant improvement. Okay, so I'm doing this to help you have the best Thrive experience. So if you're already thriving and you're loving it, you'll probably find this helpful too because these are some things that are going to improve your Thrive experience. But honestly, this is really dedicated for those of you who are, you're taking the product because you know it's good for you. I mean, obviously you're reading the back of the label and you're knowing full on, even if you're not feeling the energy and all of that yet, you know these products going into your body are definitely improving your overall health, even if you don't feel all of the you know confetti and unicorns and stuff like that that people are raving about. But I really wanna help you get there, okay? So here's the thing. I'm gonna go through a couple of things that I personally went through and how I guide people to have the best personal thrive experience, okay? So first things first, let's just do an audit, okay? The very first thing you're gonna do, and this is really important, like a lot of people, I know a lot of people wanna like skip directions and not quite follow it to the T, but listen, this is a formula that was developed to be used in sequence, okay? So when they talk about the Thrive Experience, that is literally referring to three products that are one formula broken up into three different delivery methods, okay? So the first of the three is your capsules. You're gonna take your capsules the first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Now, I wanna break each step down, okay? Just for those of you who are like seriously frustrated that you're not quite having the Thrive Experience you want, like your friends are having, or that you keep seeing all these stories online, you're like, I want that. Okay, so really truly pay attention to every single thing here, I promise. I'll try to keep it as concise as I can. So when you're talking about the capsules, the capsules, it's really important that you take these on an empty stomach. Now, here's the thing. If you wake up at 7 a.m. or even 6 a.m., okay, consider that it's at least eight hours for your stomach to be considered empty. That means that if you're eating snacks at midnight and you wake up at 6 a.m. and taking your capsules, that's not on an empty stomach. <laughs> okay, so even better is if you've gone 12 hours before eating, okay, or before taking your capsules. So for example, the best th Thrive experience is when you have dinner, for example, at like six o'clock and it's been a full 12 hours since until you take your capsules, like 6 a.m. the next morning, that's 12 hours, okay? that is on an empty stomach, at least eight hours, more on the 10 to 12 hour side. That is truly an empty stomach. So consider the timing. When are you taking your capsules in reference to when is the last time you ate something, okay? So your capsules need to be taken on a totally empty stomach with water, not coffee. Coffee, tea, all of that kind of stuff, I'll talk about in a few minutes, but the only thing you should have in your stomach when you take your Thrive Experience in the morning is water. That's it. Um, okay, so take your capsules first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. It is requ uh, a request or like a, a recommendation rather to take both capsules. I know a lot of you guys love your Thrive Experience only taking one capsule. That's great for you. If you're wanting the full on experience, you want to take both capsules that are in this little packet. Okay. All right. Step two is the shake mix. Now, I have the canister here with me, but the directions are the same on the single serve packets. On the back of this package, okay, and you can read the one that you have at home, it says mix or blend with ten, uh, eight to 10 ounces of water or milk. You may blend with ice and fruit if a smoothie is desired. Now, 
Let me just say, if you are using the Thrive Experience Shake Mix as a meal replacement later on in the day on its own as an individual product, sure, make it into a smoothie. However, if you're using the Shake Mix as part of your step one, two, three Thrive Experience, the whole shebang, you want the feeling, you want the energy, you want the better sleep, you want the aches and discomforts in your body to go away, you want the mental clarity, you want the brain fog to go away, you need to be taking this after your capsules, 20 to 40 minutes after your capsules, still on an empty stomach, that means before your coffee, <laughs> before your tea, before anything else, the only thing now you should have in your stomach is the capsules, water, and shake mix. Now listen, this is in sequence with the capsules. So the capsules, the ingredients that are in the capsules are literally designed with prebiotics, probiotics, active digestive enzymes, and a host of other things that are gonna literally, I call them like jumper cables for your brain, like literally you'll feel like you'll feel like you're waking up within 15 minutes of taking those capsules, you're ready, like you're ready to go, okay? The shake mix, you can take this shake mix 20 to 40 minutes after your capsules while still on an empty stomach. Now, it is best to go on the, on the side of the 40 minutes. The longer you wait, like 40, 45 minutes after your capsules, the more of an effect you're gonna have. So I personally tell people who like, they're sensitive, they don't want as much of a Thrive experience, they don't want all the effects. Um, I actually tell them to go only 15 to 20 minutes after they take their capsules, right? On the shorter side of that window. Is this making sense? So when you take your shake mix though, here's the most common uh, problem that I see that when people tell me I'm not feeling it, the very first thing I ask is how do you make your shake? Because if you are mixing this powder with anything other than water, you are diluting and lessening the effects of the Thrive Experience, okay? So now I personally, I personally prefer my shake mix with unsweetened vanilla almond milk, okay? However, to improve your Thrive Experience, even though I like the taste of it and the texture of it better with the creaminess of almond milk, it is definitely huge difference when I make my shake mix with just cold water. You know why? Because almond milk is not on an empty stomach. You see? So if you're mixing your powder with anything other than just plain water, you are not taking it on an empty stomach. I know that like for some of you, your light bulbs are going off in your brain going, oh my gosh, I add a half a banana. I add, I add some powdered peanut butter. I add berries to it. That's great as a meal replacement later on. If you wanna drink another one later on in the day as a snack, these are great healthy snacks. Make them into smoothies, make them into protein shakes. But when you're doing it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, it needs to be literally on an empty stomach to make the formula work. There's magic in this formula, you guys. Seriously, it has to be done on a totally empty stomach. Try it with water. If you're not feeling it yet, the very first thing you need to adjust is make sure you're taking it on an empty stomach Make sure you're only, you only have water in your stomach when these first two products go in your system and make your shake mix with only water. Okay, so third step is your DFT. Now, a lot of people ask, including my own daughter, can I do the Thrive Experience without wearing the DFT? Yes, you can. However, <laughs> the system is three simple steps. Capsules are capsule form. They go into your system, they absorb, they go all through your digestive system, top to bottom, literally prebiotics, probiotics, all of that. It is designed then to um, prepare your gut for whatever comes next, which in this case is the shake mix, okay, which is liquid form. So you've got capsule form and you've got liquid form. The third and final step would be skin, going through your skin, the largest organ of your body, right into your blood flow. Here's the thing. All those vitamins that are in the DFT are specifically formulated and designed to go through your skin, into your system, bypassing your digestive system, bypassing your body's filtration system, and literally designed to complete the whole cycle, okay, the whole formula. 
So yes, you can skip one of the steps, but are you going to have the Thrive experience that you're looking for? Probably not because you're not, it's kind of like buying a car without, without tires, right? Yes, you're going to have a car in your driveway, but is it going to go anywhere? Probably not, <laughs> right? So you can take each of these products individually, okay? You can, and they're great. They're great products on their own. However, if you want the Thrive experience that like everybody's talking about online, that all the people are raving about, the reason this company has $2 billion in orders, the reason everybody loves this product is when you specifically take all three in sequence together. It is magical the way they formulated this product, okay? Now, so that's kind of like your self audit. Okay, so a lot of times when I get on the phone with somebody and they're like, I'm not feeling it yet, whether it's day one, day five, week five, whatever. The very first thing I ask are those three things. And I literally explain to them and, and the first question I ask is, how are you making your shake? <laughs> okay, but here's what I wanna say before I go into some troubleshooting, okay? So if you're doing all those steps right and you're like, it's still not working, I have some steps for you to take, okay? And some things for you to check. But the next thing I wanna share with you guys is um, if you are looking at this, okay? And you are reading some of these stories, the, sometimes I don't like particularly sharing stories of people who were day one thrivers. You know, they're like, oh my gosh, my first 45 minutes, I was like, you know, unicorns were coming out of the sky. You know, those kinds of stories. It's like, oh, because I was not feeling that personally. I was not feeling that. My, in fact, my first full week, I had a stomach ache, like a bad stomach ache. Um, I just, not like nauseous or anything, I just felt bloated, I felt full, I felt fat, I felt bleh, right? Um, I was not thriving <laughs> my first five days. Uh, here's the thing though, I, and I'm gonna talk about this in a little bit. I had spent over a decade eating way too much processed food, way too many Diet Cokes, way too much coffee, I mean way too much coffee, like more than three cups a day too much coffee, okay? way too much sugar, way too much processed carbs. So over a decade of bad eating habits and not enough water, combined with me expecting a freaking miracle uh, in the first few days, no, not likely gonna happen, right? But I was very impatient because I was reading all these stories of like, well, day one thriver, what the heck? How come what's wrong with me or what's wrong with this product? That's really what I was thinking. I called my sponsor and I was like, what's wrong with this product? It's not working. So we went through those troubleshooting steps and I just had to give it time and here's the reality. I know you're gonna read lots of stories or you're gonna hear a lot of videos and people are gonna say, oh, I felt it on day two, I felt it on day one, I felt it, whatever. Here's the thing, most people, we're talking out of 10 million so far customers who are taking these products, most people feel it around day 10 to day 14, okay? And that is consistently using it the right way, day 10 to 14 of using it the right way. So if you're like day 10 and you've been kind of halfing it and, and taking your shake with almond milk, for example, instead of water, not doing it the right way, do 10 to 14 days the right way and you will probably feel a huge difference, okay? Now, my husband, my husband did not feel anything at all um, for a good five weeks. Everybody is different. Your body is uniquely designed. Okay, you're different than other people. Yes, it is working. Don't say it's not working, it is working. It may just take you a little longer to feel the outward effects of it working. Because I promise you, you don't know all the good stuff that's going on in here, all the gut healing, all the internal organs that are being like literally improved. That stuff is happening before you might feel the mental clarity the energy, the feeling of awakeness and alertness, the body aches going away, those are gonna come after a lot of the internal stuff. So give yourself some time to really feel it, okay? So here's the thing that I know I was doing in the beginning that was sabotaging my personal Thrive experience. Too many carbs. Um, complex carbs and simple carbs, you can Google that, the difference of those. Here's the thing. A basic good rule of thumb is that carbs are coming from anything other than your actual food that's not in packages like fruits, vegetables, meats, proteins, beans, things like that. Those are the kinds of carbs that consider it like putting a speed bump on a highway. 
to your Thrive experience that's literally gonna uh, sabotage your results. If you're not feeling the energy or you're not feeling that, that, that mojo and everything that everybody's raving about, you're probably consuming more than, I would say 75 carbs per day. Just calculate it, track it for a little bit in like MyFitnessPal and see how many carbs you're consuming. If you're consuming over 75 to 100 carbs a day, you're probably experiencing a crash because if you're not burning those carbs, your body converts those carbs into sugar and it will literally cause you to crash. So that's that was my problem, y'all. That was my problem, I'm telling you right now. Um, sugar, same thing. Even sugar from fruits. Berries are typically okay, but sugar, like you might think, oh, I had two peaches for a snack today. Y'all, that's like a lot of sugar. Oh, I had a glass of milk, 2% milk. Look up how much sugar is in milk. Y'all, like for real, it's there's a lot of sugar consumption. So just like anything, when you spike <laughs> your sugar, it, you're going to come down. It's going to correct itself. So it's not that Thrive is not working. It's that you are literally throwing out with every bite. You're throwing out a speed bump on the highway and another one and another one. And you're blaming it on Thrive not working. But in reality, it's everything you're doing that you're consuming on top of Thrive. Okay? So if you're wanting the Thrive experience, you need to limit your carbs, your unhealthy carbs, okay? Limit your unhealthy sugars or the excess sugars. Um, limit synthetic caffeine. There's very little caffeine in the Thrive Experience. All three steps combined, there's less caffeine in all of that than half of a cup of coffee, okay? So people who are caffeine sensitive, they love this product because seriously, there's hardly any caffeine and it's not processed synthetic caffeine. It's caffeine from literal like leaves, okay? Um, but if you're taking like Diet Cokes, uh, chocolate, coffee, tea, those are fine, but you need to limit those because anything that's synthetically or heat processed caffeine, your body is going to forget the natural stuff I'm gonna burn the synthetic stuff first, shoot you way up, okay? And then you're gonna crash. So if you're looking to have the best, cleanest experience, you wanna limit your caffeine intake. I'm never gonna tell anybody to stop drinking coffee altogether. I think that is hocus pocus mumbo jumbo. I love coffee. I love the taste of it. I love the warmth of it. But I'm telling you, too much of it will lower your personal Thrive experience. You will not feel as good as when you limit your caffeine intake. I'm just saying, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Um, quite honestly, here's the thing. From going from a coffee addict, I mean, seriously, five to six cups of coffee, iced coffees, <laughs> hot coffees. I mean, seriously, I was all over it. And then tea, when I wanted to feel healthier <laughs> and Diet Cokes all throughout the day, like sprinkled in, I was consuming a lot of caffeine. Um, I, I love caffeine. I Actually, that's scientifically proven that it improves your brain function. Caffeine actually has like actual benefits, okay? You can look that up too. Um, but I do feel much like a more clean, sustained energy all day without that crash when I limit the caffeine and just drink water and a lot of water at that, okay? So take your body weight, divide it by two. Whatever that number is, that's how many ounces of water you really should be drinking at minimum every single day. And if you work out and you sweat or you live in a hot or humid environment, increase it. <laughs> it's a lot of water, y'all. We need a lot of water. Um, all right. The next thing I want to talk to you about before I give you, I'm going to give you two, uh, two recommendations. If you're still like going through this list and you're like, yeah, I do all that. I do all that. I do all that. And it's still not working. Hold on. I'm going to give you a couple recommendations. But before I do that, I want to talk to you about your mindset because I have helped now at this point over 300 people thrive personally, okay? What I wanna say about this is that nine out of every 10 are having a perfectly awesome, amazing thrive experience. They are loving it, okay? Um, it, when I troubleshoot with them, when I go through these things with them, okay, this little self audit and all of that, um, nine out of 10, when they make their little corrections and they do just little things, it makes a big difference, huge difference, okay? Occasionally, I come across someone who really and truly, 
you know, they ordered it to like support a friend and that was really it. And they really truly just don't want to reorder. They didn't ever really want it to work in the first place. They don't really care about the extra energy. They really like guzzling coffee. They like making posts on Facebook saying how tired and cranky they are. They just, that's part of their shtick. Okay. They like it. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just saying they, they really just go, went into it kind of not really even wanting it to work because they don't want to reorder. They don't want to refer to friends and get it for free. Like they really truly just didn't want it to work. Your brain is so powerful, so powerful that if you truly just don't want it to work and you're like jaded and skeptical and just negative about the whole thing, nothing that I do or say or no little adjustments are going to make it work for you. Most likely nine out of 10 times. Okay. Um, because your brain is so powerful that you can actually convince yourself <laughs> that it's not working even when it is. I mean, seriously, you can take a really grumpy person to Disneyland, the happiest place on earth, and they will still be grumpy and grouchy the entire time. Why? Because they've made up their mind to be. So check your mindset. There's nothing wrong with the fact that like some people just really don't want it to work and you can just tell your friend, I just don't want this. I don't really want this. I don't want the energy and all this kind of stuff. And that's totally fine, but don't say it's not working because it really is working and it will work if you let it, okay? If you give it enough time, especially. Give it eight weeks. They call it an eight week Thrive Experience. Have y'all noticed that? The reason why they call it an eight week Thrive Experience is not like an eight week challenge. It's not like one of those things. It is to give your body eight weeks to let it do its job. Your gut, your gut controls everything. Your gut is your second brain. Google how important your gut health is. So if your gut needs some healing, <laughs> it can take up to eight weeks of consistently doing it the right way to really feel it. So give it eight weeks before you judge it. That's my, that's my main message. Give it eight weeks before you judge it, but do some troubleshooting. Okay. If you see, if you think that some of these things could be adjusted to make it better, do those things. Okay. Now, if you're like, okay, listen, lady, I've done all of these things. Every single thing that you're saying, I'm doing perfectly. I get an A plus. <laughs> okay. I'm doing everything right. And it's still not working. Here's my recommendations. And this is actually what I had to do as well as my husband too. The very first thing I'm going to ask you to add to your next order and please promise me that you're doing the capsules on an empty stomach, truly on an empty stomach, eight to 10 hours of an empty stomach, okay? Um, or more. Then wait 40 minutes higher up on that window and then drink your powder, your shake powder with only water mixed in it. Do not add food to it because that's on an empty stomach. Do not add milk to it because that's not an empty stomach. Do not add the unsweetened almond milk because that's technically not on an empty stomach just water. Trust me, guzzle it down. If you don't like it, I'm telling you what, it'll make a giant difference. You're going to be raving about it. Um, even if it's not your favorite texture with just water, I promise you like mix it with ice and water. If you like it, like a shake kind of thing, it's actually super good. Um, and take all three steps perfectly done. Okay. A plus great. If you're doing all of that, I want you to add to your next order. If you really want it to work and feel it, your gut probably needs some extra health. That's a really common issue in a lot of people. A lot of people eat too much processed food, too much caffeine, too much sugar, too much carbs, and it truly is like impacting their, their gut, okay, from top to bottom. And your gut being your second brain can rule your whole body, I'm telling you. So for gut health, you wanna add balance to your next order. Okay, this is a capsule that you take at nighttime. This is really inexpensive, y'all. This is like $40. Um, you, there's 60 capsules in this whole bottle. You really probably could start with just one capsule every other day. This will not, this is gonna last you a while. This is a very inexpensive fix, okay? So along with your fab experience that you're taking in the morning, add a bottle of balance and take these at night before bed. Okay, so, and when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna take a Thrive Experience, you just take these at night, I promise, it's gonna make a huge difference. If you're doing that, I'm gonna say, give this eight weeks. Doing the Thrive Experience, along with balance, for another eight weeks. Do it consistently, do it the right way, by adding balance. If you're still not feeling it, I promise it's doing something, I promise, it's just that you can't see it yet. Okay, it's like kinda like when you start working out, and you're like, dude, my abs hurt, but how come I don't see a six pack? You know it's working in there, but you just can't see it yet. This is the same thing. When you are healing your gut, magical things will happen for you when you actually heal your digestive system, but you gotta give it time. Okay, so 
If you've gone through that second eight weeks, doing it perfectly, doing it the right way, adding balance, and it's still not working, I want you to add Boost. Um, listen, here's the thing. These are great products on their own. Boost, balance, all this kind of stuff. When you work these in conjunction with each other, um, it's, it's really impressive, okay? Boost is actually a green streak, okay? So this is, um, helps you become more pH balance. It's really super foods, super veggies, super fruits. It's Boost. This, I'm gonna tell you, I'm y'all know, I keep it real. Boost is actually really yummy. <laughs> there are a lot of greens drinks out there that it's like, it tastes like you're just out in your backyard drinking the grass and the clippings from your mower. They taste nasty a lot of times. I'm just being real. Um, Boost is actually really yummy. It actually tastes kind of like a peach tea. It's really good. They're actually really, really good. You just pour it into a cold bottle of water, shake it up. Uh, you can also add it to um, your shake mix. Um, like as, if you're drinking a, snake, a shake mix for a snack, you can add Boost to it as well. Um, but add Boost, okay, to your regimen. I usually like it in the afternoon. Okay, so when I feel snacky, um, instead of snacking, I drink a boost and it actually curbs that, it curbs the appetite and all of that. But um, it is uh, gluten-free, of course, just like everything, alkaline pH support, but both of these products, Boost and Balance, have prebiotics, probiotics, active digestive enzymes, and it is literally, those things are like gonna ho totally heal your whole digestive system in conjunction with the Thrive Experience, okay? So those are the only two products that I recommend like adding to your Thrive Experience um, for like, if you're just not feeling it yet. It's not like we're gonna lay all this stuff on you and tell you to add this and add that and add this. It's literally just these two things and it's because of gut health, okay? But honestly, like I said, nine out of 10 people that I help troubleshoot their issues when they're not feeling it yet. They are like back in the beginning, how I was telling you to take your three steps. Those are nine out of 10 people. That's what solves it without having to add on anything extra. Okay. So give it time. Don't be impatient. Make sure you do really want it to work or not. If you've decided, yes, I really do want this to work. I really want to feel better and I want the energy and I want the weight loss. I want to be better in the gym. I want the aches and discomforts to go away. I want to sleep better. I want all of those things that people are talking about. If you've really made up your mind and you've decided I want this to work, these troubleshooting steps will help you. Okay. If it doesn't get with your thriving friend, message them or comment below and I'll help you. Let us know what's going on. We'll help troubleshoot your specific issue. If you need to add things to your regimen, we'll help you do that. But I promise you, this will work. It is working. You just have to give your body and thrive enough time to like align and do what it needs to do. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. I hope this video helped you guys that are not quite feeling it yet. If you have friends that are not quite feeling it, be sure and share this video with them as well. And hopefully this helps explain it a little bit more and I will see you guys on another video. Bye y'all.